all the people who follow me daydreamers um, for my song daydreaming I think it's really cute so hello little daydreamers good morning this is my parents dog I'm taking care of her for the week so today is my filming day I film like a bunch of content and then post it throughout the week. And the first video I'm gonna film is the three minute makeup challenge. I'm nervous, literally my stomach, I'm like nervous. We're gonna do the three minute makeup challenge. Um, oh, <laughs> that, okay. <laughs> Look at my hair. Okay, delete that, we're gonna start over. Okay, we're gonna do the three minute makeup challenge. Um, I'm literally nervous. I've, I'm not a makeup person. So I'm gonna make a little to-do list of what I need to do today. I also wanna chit chat about a few things. I wanna talk about, I've been feeling really weird about like social media and what it is and what it's becoming. When I started TikTok, the things that made my TikTok do really well were the one minute mashups and that's like what also helped my YouTube be so successful. Um, and they're just not working anymore. Like I feel like one minute is almost too long now. People's attention spans are like 15 seconds. I'm like working on these videos like the mashups or the costumes or um, anything music related. I work on those videos for like three to five hours and they're not performing well, but I just am not sure where social media is heading. So I was thinking this morning, I'm like, maybe I just kind of do something different. Like I've been in this cycle. I've been making mashups for like two years now. Like YouTube is the place where I do music. I still post mashups. I post my music videos. I post behind the scenes videos, I post vlogs, just music. It's like high quality stuff on YouTube. Then TikTok is where I just like have fun and show my personality and like be me, do silly stuff. And then Instagram is maybe like more personal stuff, like photos. Each social platform is like a different form of me that you can follow and see. I don't know. I'm just a little bit lost right now because my content is not performing well, which is fine. So yeah, I'm just like, what what's next for me on social media? I don't know. I think I'm just gonna try not to think about it too much um, and just post what I wanna post and try not to look at the numbers. And it's hard because like, I think what people don't realize is like, yes, like you want high numbers because it's like a serotonin boost. It's like, oh, people like me or whatever, but it's also like, our job and um, when your views are low brands don't want to work with you and you're not making as much money and like all of those things are an aspect of it too um, which is kind of like the business side of things that I think that people don't really want to talk about but it's just it's true figuring out where to go next thank you for coming to my TED talk right now I'm submitting my song to be on this radio station hopefully it makes it um, but they want me to record, like, I'm Logan Alexandra, and you're listening to 104.7 or whatever it is. So I'm going to do that now. What's wrong? I'm Logan Alexandra, and you're listening to Breaking Sound Radio. I describe my sound as a cross between Dua Lipa, Biscuit, no barking. Hi, I'm Logan Alexandra, and you're watching Disney Channel. lunchtime and usually during lunchtime I just scroll through my Instagram reels and TikTok and like save trending sounds or videos that I could make and then I'll do those film those after lunch. Are you friends with her? Let me know now. I'm also taking care of my cat which is at my parents house. So Biscuit and I are gonna go for a car ride to go see the cat and take care of her. Check out my outfit though. I've never owned biker shorts in my life, but I bought these at Zara. <laughs> I feel cute. Damn, sorry I blew you off. I was doing lunch with Microsoft. We don't sing the next line. It's the cutest thing ever. She gets so excited to go in the car. When she's going down the stairs, she like cries as she's going down the stairs. 
This is my cat Zoe. told you guys on YouTube that I'm engaged. Um, it's the most beautiful ring and it has these little diamonds, a hidden halo. So I've been engaged now for like a few months. Um, he actually proposed the same day that my song Obsessed With You came out and it was the most beautiful proposal. Um, I thought we were going on a movie date and we show up to the movie theater and there's rose petals and candles like leading us to these two seats and then there's a film of us and like all of our memories all of our photos all of our videos playing on the movie screen um and then he proposed and all of my friends and family surprised me at a restaurant across the street it was a it was so special and so beautiful and he did such an amazing job with the ring with the proposal with everything it was it was the best day ever okay see you at home all right i am back home and i'm gonna try to figure out what to post tomorrow i had this idea to do like underrated taylor swift songs so i start every mashup by writing down all the songs that i could possibly use so we have all the songs listed i'm definitely going to do 13 songs so now i choose a chord progression that will fit um, the melody of all of these songs and put them in order. So I also have a YouTube video that explains like everything that I do very thoroughly. I'll put it, not sure which corner it's going to be in, but I'll link the video there so you can watch how I do these mashups. But let's just cut to the part where I have the mashup finished. And I'm done. The mashup is out now. <laughs> 